What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm back here at Acura by Executive once again here in North Haven, Connecticut. Make sure to come check them out. Make sure to ask for Jonathan and he will help you out with some of these Acuras. Now today I'm here with the 2021 Acura RDX. This one has the technology package. I'm gonna do a brief history here, real quick history. Talk a little bit about the features, the options. Take it for a quick test drive. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're here with the 2021 Acura RDX. And this one debuted back in 2007 for the first generation. It shared a platform with the Civic and the CRV. Of course, Acura is part of the Honda Motors Group. But here now in the third generation, starting in 2018 for the 2019 model year, uh, we are here on its own platform. Of course, those cars are built right here in the USA in East Liberty, Ohio. Now this. Acura RDX is the smallest SUV that Acura offers. It is a compact SUV. And like the TLX that I reviewed, uh, it comes in front wheel drive or all wheel drive, no matter what trim level you're in. You get a standard, you get a technology package, you get an A-spec and you get an advance. And those again, across the board are the same as the TLX. So if you're a little bit more interested in what the advance has to offer, be sure to check out the TLX advance video now this one starts at 38 grand for the front wheel drive version in standard form uh, it goes all the way up to 46 grand if you're in the top spec advanced package uh, in front wheel drive form at about two grand and about 200 pounds and you can get that super handling all wheel drive added to your RDX. Interestingly, this one actually weighs a little less than the TLX Type S that I drove, because uh, while that one is a mid-size sedan, it's a little bit longer, got that big V6, got a little bit of extra equipment. This one is about 186 inches. It's eight inches less than the TLX Type S. That one was at 194. They also have a wheelbase of 108 inches and uh, we're about eight inches of ground clearance here as well. All right, let's go ahead and take this thing for a little drive. Now, one thing to note here as I pull out of this space, this one does have the rear cross traffic alert. It is not standard on the base trim. Definitely a really nice thing to have. The blind spot and the rear cross traffic are not available on the base trim. And if you're in and out of parking lots a lot, uh, that's definitely something that I would highly recommend. This one, ha it does have a standard suite of safety features though, things like your lane assist, uh, and your front collision warning, things like that are standard. It's just the blind spot and the rear cross traffic alert, which is, again, something I would definitely consider. I don't have a heads up display here either. That is only available on the Advance. Really like to see uh, the Advance and the A-Spec kind of get mixed together really like the A-Spec kind of updates to the to the appearance along with like the heads up display the cooled seats the heated back seats it'd be really nice to see that we're due for a refresh here I believe in 2022 so hopefully we'll see some of that now this does have the all-wheel drive system again it is a super handling all-wheel drive uh, you can get in front-wheel drive but this version is the all-wheel drive I think that super handling all-wheel drive does kind of live up to its name here it does handle really well uh, for something with especially for something with an all-wheel drive system something that's big and heavy um, but the it does have a higher center of gravity though so it's not gonna handle like your sports cars and your stuff that's lower to the ground but for something that's this tall it definitely does its job pretty well we're also looking at about 22 city here 28 highway uh, when you're in the when you're in the front wheel drive version that's for fuel economy of course and you're looking at 21 27 if you get into the all-wheel drive version so not too bad on fuel economy 
definitely okay to daily drive this thing. Now because we are not in the advanced package, we don't have the adaptive dampers. That advanced package is the only way to get the adaptive dampers. Again, a little bit frustrating. I'd like to see that in the A-Spec, especially since that one kind of has the sportier look. Um, so the ride's not quite as good as, as it was like in the TLX Type S and the TLX Advance that I've been in, but it is still an accurate, it's still a luxury vehicle, and it's still a really comfortable ride. It's just not quite as soft. You definitely notice a difference if you do them back to back. You might not notice as much um, if you're not kind of going back to back with one that has the adaptive dampers. I do have my speed limit up here which is nice. I also have adaptive cruise that is standard. I forgot to mention that before. This thing is you know it's punchy enough. It's a turbocharged engine 272 horsepower 280 pound feet of torque as I mentioned. It does get this thing moving pretty well about the same as the TLX again being about the same uh, being about the same weight it's just higher up off the ground. It's not a speed demon by any means, but it will certainly get you where you need to go. Again, comfortable, but I can feel I can feel the bumps a lot, a lot more than I could with the adaptive dampers. One other thing to note when it comes to the handling is this one has a 57-43 weight distribution, so 50% of the, the weight is up front over the front wheels, 43 in the back. It goes about 59-41 if you're in the front wheel drive version for obvious reasons. Uh, you don't have that all-wheel drive equipment in the back weighing down the back a little bit more. Uh, it's also nice that we don't have a CVT. This is the same 10-speed auto as you see in the TLX. It's got the paddle shifters, and I kind of went through that in a TLX video. They do respond pretty well here. They're pretty aggressive. They'll let you go pretty aggressively here, actually. I can change through the drive modes. We have a snow, comfort, sport, and sport plus mode here. It'll change your throttle, throttle response a little bit, change your shift points a little. Um, it'll let you stay in gear a little bit longer if you're up in sport plus mode. It will still shift you out of gear if you start getting into red line or something. Um, I know that was a big complaint with the TLX Type S when they took that one on the track, some of the journalists uh, out at Laguna Seca. But again, this is a, this is an RDX, this is an SUV, this is not a performance car. You got some body roll there on that turn. Again, we're higher up off the ground, so yeah, that's to be expected in any SUV. Still a quiet ride too. You can you can hear it putting in the work to get you up to speed there. I just downshifted on it, responded pretty well. Didn't care that I was up high in the rev range. Oh boy, brakes well enough to avoid people pulling out in front of you. That's good. You know I don't really think that the typical buyer is probably using these paddle shifters too much, but if you're like me uh, and you just prefer something like a manual or you prefer like having having the control. Uh, it definitely responds well, they feel good, they're in a good position, and I, I definitely like having this. Uh, or maybe you just like playing race car driver. We're looking at 19 inch wheels here on all seasons. These wheels change slightly with whatever package you get in color and style, but they do remain 19s unless you're in the A spec. Those are on 20s. You have McPherson struts in the front, multi link independent rear suspension in the back. Moonroof there is standard no matter what trim level you're in. And coming in on these mirrors here, we do have the integrated turn signals. And these mirrors also are heated, and that is standard. Definitely nice to have this black. All right, this chrome around the windows is black if you choose the A-Spec. Keep wanting to call it the Sport Package because that's what the appearance package is in the Honda lineup. Uh, though this is slightly more than an appearance, but for the most part, it's an appearance package. All right, taking a look up around the front here, we've got these jewel eye LEDs, that's what Acura calls them. This front bumper here is a little bit different in the A-Spec. But here, this one has a technology package, so this is what you're getting on the other three trim levels. Do have your sensors behind that giant Acura badge there. Your diamond grill, classy look to it for sure. Note, you do not get the front and rear parking sensors. If you're on the standard, you have to at least have the technology package for that one. Also up front here, 
You'll notice no fog lights on this one. You gotta get up into the advance or the A spec if you want those fog lights. Popping the hydraulic hood here. We're looking at a two liter turbocharged four cylinder. This is the same in line four as in that TLX, not the TLX type S. That one has a turbocharged six cylinder. This one is the four cylinder, 272 horsepower, 280 pound feet of torque. Though this one again does weigh a little bit less than that TLX type S. So you can get it moving a little bit faster though it is about on par with the weight of the regular TLX. Come into the back here, we've got this dual exhaust. Those tips are a little bit different in the A-spec. Again, the rear bumper as well, a little bit different in the A-spec. This one though is the technology package. Got LED tail lights no matter what. These Dragon's tail LED tail lights, definitely nice to have those. Again, no rear parking sensor in the standard but you do have it here in the technology package there's your rear view camera as well this one does open automatically just push the button down under here and it'll pop right open looking at cute 30 cubic feet of space back here with the seats up 59 with the seats down looks like a ton i could probably sleep back here with the seats up down under here where your spare tire would be if this one had one obviously it does not got a pull lever here for the seats definitely nice and a spot for a privacy cover if you had one Put that down there all right let's go ahead and hop inside back here in the back i've got tons of space 39 inches of legroom here. This one is actually pushed back a little bit because it's got the memory seats that'll go forward when I go sit up there. Um, but I still have some decent room. Hard plastic, not the best. Um, but again, 39 inches, that's actually more than the TLX despite the TLX again being about eight inches longer because it's got this more efficient hatch shape. This one actually has about four inches more of legs, leg room and it has the big back space back there in the cargo area so that's nice these are the sport leather trimmed seats here uh, the seats vary across the board uh, with the different packages they're different in every trim level you can actually get heated seats back here but you have to get the advanced package that's the only way to do that so let's go ahead and hop up front see what we got up there up front here i am sitting in the 12-way power adjustable seats it's a power lumbar definitely a nice thing to have uh, if you go up into the advanced package you can get the 16-way power adjustable seats those have power power thigh extensions as well as power bolsters these bolsters are pretty nice i'm okay with them the way they are it's a comfortable place to be heated seats in the front no matter what but you can get ventilated seats up in the advanced package Got the dual climate here do have the same screen here as in the TLX and the TLX Type S with the touch pad down here. Again, I wish that I could either have a touch screen or something, some more physical buttons down here. I don't really like having a separate touch item, but I've talked about that in the other videos. Not going to get into that one too much. Uh, we do have the ELS Studio here. This is the 12 speaker system over the standard nine speaker Acura premium audio in the base model. Uh, and if you go up into the top two trims, the Advance and the A-Spec, then you get the 3D, uh, you get the ELS 3D Studio, that's the 16 speaker system. This one still sounds pretty nice with the 12 speaker and the ELS, just not quite as nice of uh, that sort of like surround sound system that you get uh, in the 16 speaker audio system. Steering wheel here, tilting, telescoping, no matter what, pretty standard. Uh, the A-Spec has its own as well as some of the interior lighting is red instead of white, the ambient lighting. Uh, and other than that, the A-Spec has a few kind of lo different looks throughout the cabin. You get the wood trim if you get the Advance. You can see that in the TLX video, the TLX Advance video I've got. Um, but overall, the interior pretty similar looking here. Uh, and you can actually get a heated steering wheel if you get the advanced package, so that's definitely a nice thing to have, but that is the only way to get that one. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, standard through this system. And you've got the lines here, 
with the overhead you can get a 360 view if you're in the advanced package as well and notice over here when i go between reverse and park the mirrors actually move for me which is pretty nice little feature so there you have it again i'd like to see them kind of mix the a spec and the advance uh, if you have any other questions on this one let me know down in the comments if you have a car for me here in central central connecticut jason at manual-cars.com obviously doesn't need to be a manual so again thank you to acura by executive here in north haven connecticut and thanks for watching and i will see you next time